Hello, Experiencing Grace discussion groups hosts. Uh, I am so thankful for you and just want to say um, thank you for opening up your homes and for giving up your time to be part of this church-wide conversation in um, experiencing more of God's grace as we practice spiritual disciplines in community. So I am firmly committed to the idea that circles are better than rows and that true transformation happens in a circle rather than just a row on Sunday. And so as hosts, you will be part of, um, of being part of that transformation uh, that, that your group members will experience. And so um, it is my joy to serve alongside of you. My husband and I are also hosting a group in our home, and so we are really excited uh, to learn alongside of you, to serve alongside of you, and to um, walk with our uh, fellow um, fellow believers in, uh, in, in putting ourselves into a position where we might experience more of God's grace through the spiritual disciplines. So just to let you know, um, I kind of have two goals for you and um, for this uh, for the series. Um, the first is that um, those who are attending your group would be given the space to practice and try spiritual disciplines together in community. So they may not actually all try um, everything, but the goal would be that they've at least been given a space, a safe space to try and to discuss and to discern what might be helpful um, going forward. So my goal would be that every person who comes would be given the space to try a new spiritual discipline. And my second goal is that every person who comes to a group would leave the, uh, the series knowing at least one other person. They may not be best friends and they may not get together for coffee every week, but at least someone would show up on a Sunday and say, you know, I'm no longer alone here. I now know this person uh, and they know my name also. So that is my goal. Um, as a host, these are uh, the things that we are asking of you. Um, it's pretty low key and uh, most of you have already said yes to this, but just to go over the expectations again, uh, using the acronym HOST, H-O-S-T, um, the expectation is that those of you who are hosting would have a heart for people, uh, that you would open your home, uh, whether it's your home or your apartment or your workplace or your local Starbucks, that you would um, create a safe place for people to have conversations, uh, that you would share a snack. Um, we, I really have found, and many of you probably also know this, that community, there's just something about breaking bread together and eating together that kind of greases the wheels of, um, of community. And so if you could share a snack, nothing elaborate, you don't have to pull out all the stops, uh, but if you can have some sort of snack and a beverage out, that would be wonderful. And then the T stands for turn on the DVD, which we are not having DVDs, but if you could print out the, um, the study materials for those in your group, that would be wonderful and have them available. Um, so we are just really excited that you have said yes to this, really excited that you're stepping in to opening your home and being part of the spiritual journeys of each person in your group. Uh, we've been praying that God would put the exact people in the exact right groups and so I really believe that he will do that. We've seen it over and over again at Trinity. Uh, and so I, um, I anticipate hearing great stories come out of each of your groups. Uh, so please don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions. You'll be hearing from me uh, each week with different tools and resources. And please don't hesitate to reach back out if you have any questions or need anything. So let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for each person who has stepped up and said, Yes, I can host. Yes, I'll open my home. Yes, I want to be part of this. God, we thank you for that. 
God, I pray that you would anoint them for ministry. Lord, I pray that you would um, remove any obstacles that people have to getting to their homes, anything that would keep them away. Lord, I pray that each person who comes would be deeply impacted um, by the idea of practicing these spiritual disciplines and that we would all experience more of your grace together. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. So um, blessings on you. Blessings on your group. Please let me know if you need anything at all. Thank you.